Hi, I'm Mark Brown. I'm a professor of bee sciences. And here I am in my back garden, locked down as many of us are by the COVID-19 pandemic. Whilst I've been in lockdown, I've been thinking, what's happening with bees? Is this a good thing for bees or is it a bad thing for bees? And in actual fact, a lot of the things that are happening could be having impact on wild bee populations. There are both positive things and potentially negative things. And so I'd like to chat with you about some of those. Firstly, from the positive side, one of the big things we've seen with COVID is that there's been a huge reduction in human traffic. And specifically here, I mean road traffic. And what that means is there are many fewer exhaust fumes, a lot less air pollution. And from a bee's perspective, which relies upon scent for finding flowers, this is a great thing. It makes it much easier for them to find the food that they need and to go out on shorter and perhaps more efficient foraging trips to find food, bring it back to their nest and therefore raise more bees. Secondly, that lack of traffic is also advantageous because we know that road traffic actually kills bees. There are studies which suggest that millions of bees are killed on an annual basis in roads across the world. And so not only is a reduction in traffic making it easier for bees to find food, but it means they're less likely to be killed whilst doing so. And finally, along the same lines, we know that road verges are potentially a great source of food for bees if we let them flower. And because at the moment, lots of councils are reducing the amount of work they do in verges in terms of mowing them, that means there's potentially a lot more flowers available for bees too. So a triple positive whammy Lower traffic makes it easier for bees to find food, makes it less likely that they'll die as they're doing so, and also means that there could well be more food available. It would be great if we could take some of those things positively forward after the pandemic and perhaps reduce traffic, reduce pollution, and enhance how we maintain areas like road, road verges to enhance biodiversity. Of course, there are potential downsides too. And one is that we simply don't know what's going on with bees because we can't go out and survey them like we normally do. And I think a lot of bee biologists are looking forward to when the lockdown ends so that we can get out and see how bees have responded. But in the meantime, as individuals, we can see what's happening in our back gardens if we're lucky enough to have them or in the open areas that we maybe take our daily exercise in. From the perspective of gardens, one great source of food for bees are the dandelions and daisies and other flowers that can grow in our lawns. And at the moment, because we have very little else to do in many cases, we may find that we're mowing our lawns more frequently. And I'd urge you to maybe not do that. Maybe instead spend some time doing some baking, make some cakes, have a cup of tea, let the dandelions and daisies grow and sit back with your tea and cake and watch the bees and other pollinators visiting those flowers, collecting their resources, and help build up their populations. They'll enjoy that dandelion just as much as you enjoy that cake. <laughs>